Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, one of you guys actually reached out to me about the cables that I made for my wing. And so, you guys are going to head on over and I'm going to show them how to get that done. So, this episode is going to be about making the cable ties for his wing. And that uh, he should be here soon. Uh, until then, I'm playing with Millie. That's pretty quick. But anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you guys how to make those cable ties. Hey, what's up, man? I park, man. I can turn around park right here. Right. Yeah, that's such a huge wing. Hey, man, look at that wobble, though. That's yeah. a crazy wobble. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got to Home Depot. We're going to run inside, grab some of the equipment and everything and uh when we get back to the house we'll go ahead and start mocking it up we'll see how much we need cut it and uh, start making the uh, wing chassis so this is actually be the second one i've done you know the first one i just kind of half-assed it on my own and uh yeah shout out to bao yeah. who's you know really uh trusting me to make this work so hopefully i'll destroy his wing. Gotta like and subscribe <laughs> you guys right. need to start liking and subscribing all right i appreciate it all right so we found the section and they have huge selection and so we're gonna go with this more titanium look i don't know this is stainless i think it looks more titanium and this is more stainless but this is galvanized i guess but anyways yeah we're gonna end up going with this we bought about 15 feet of it and now we gotta find where the anchors are so i think that might be in this section but anyways I'm gonna cut it here because I'm getting weird looks from people walking by. Uh, we'll see you guys back at the garage. All right, guys, so we just got back to the garage. Uh, we pretty much figured out what we're gonna do with this huge wing. I'm over here tripping over Millie. You wanna go inside? There you go. So. Basically, what we're going to do is we are actually going to use these um, eye, what are they called? Eye bolts. So we're going to use the eye bolts and replace the factory bolts that came on these. But, so we're going to go from the, the further one in and we're going to bring it, drill a hole, put another eye bolt here. We'll cross one there and cross one here. There we go. Cross one right here. And then same, we'll drill another hole here, another hole here, and we'll cross it with these bolts where we will also replace with the factory with the um, eye bolts and then we have these uh is that what it's called yeah turnbuckles yeah turnbuckles and that's what is going to um so yeah that's what's going to tighten down the cable and uh, he also wanted something going from the wing to the actual car itself so we bought these smaller turnbuckles and we're going to make a cable going from uh, somewhere right around here-ish area. And, or we might even actually go into this one here and put one from there and run it to the factory holes that he currently has. So that way we don't have to drill into this. But we'll figure that out when we get to it. Um, we'll mock something up to see how that looks. But... I'm gonna go ahead and start on this. We're gonna drill these holes. So once we start with that, there's no turning back. I got one side of the cable crimped. So now I just gotta drill the hole, put the other, bolt the other one up so that way I can wrap the cable and know how much I need. Get a cut. So once I drill that hole, there's no turning back. All right, so we're ready to drill into this. There's no turning back from here. This is make sure my I'm gonna be precise and on point. All right, no turn. To, oh, that's the wrong spot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a good place. All right, so from there, I'm just gonna just keep stepping it up until we can get to whatever size this is, um, which is looking like. Probably just gonna be this one here. I don't think that one's gonna cut it. So yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna do a couple more and then we'll get to that size and um, we'll have it mounted here soon. All right, go ahead and cut it. So about an hour 
maybe two, it's probably been like an hour. We finally got the top section done, and now all I gotta do is just tighten it up. This side's getting pretty tight, but I'll go ahead and start tightening if you like. Um, so unfortunately, he does have to take off, so we're not gonna be able to make the other four tonight. And um, anyways, my mom is blowing us up because we gotta go over there for dinner anyways, and he's gotta go home for her to make dinner for his girlfriend because um, he's a loving boyfriend. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this done tomorrow. Uh, one thing we did change up a little bit, I don't think I talked about, was that instead of going from these top ones to there, we're actually now dropping it to the bottom. And uh, we're, save right here, we're going to go from there to the top right here. So there's going to be a cable going from there and then one of the, what is this? The, um, Damn, I forgot turn, turnbuckle. Turnbuckle, yeah, it's gonna actually come from right here. So instead of originally having two turnbuckles right up top, one going here and one coming down, facing like that, I think it would be kind of cool to tie it in where it's not so close to each other. And same thing when we do the other one, we're gonna put the turnbuckle right over here to run it to, I believe this front one is what we're gonna do. And uh, I think that'll complement everything together and pull it off. But I'll have more. I'll have more of that tomorrow when he comes back. We'll get that video finished. And I'll see you guys then. guys as you can see bow is back so for round two and on the rest of this episode we're we're going to finish the um, cables that are going from the factory holes that are here we're gonna put another one of the fish hook or the eye hook whatever bolts here we're gonna run a cable there and then we already had installed these on our last weekend uh, unfortunately we ran out of time but so we're gonna go ahead and run one from there to there and here to here creating the bottom half and then from here to here creating so that way it's not so loose rocking back and forth and forward and backwards and everything so that's what the the ones from here to here are going to do and then don't worry about all this damage the carbon fiber hood is on its way so once the carbon fiber hood comes in we will re um well, yeah, we'll disassemble all this, take this off, put it back on the other one. We'll have to redrill the holes here. And I believe it already comes with factory bolts here. So we'll just, like I said, do the same exact thing. This here is just a mock-up, just in case we mess up somewhere. It's not a big deal because, like I said, the carbon fiber trunk is on its way. Should be here here the next month or so, right? Yep, next month yep. or so. So, yeah, um, once that comes in, like I said, we'll make a video of that as well. Um, and there's a few things like back here where it is bolted, you know, we're going to have to reinforce it from the backside. So that way it has more to grab onto than just the plastic or I think, well, I think that's metal, but it's not enough to hold this 80 pound wing or I'm guessing 80 pounds. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and finish making the rest of the cables. Uh, looks like we should have enough. And if not, we can always run back to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and grab another foot or two. All right, real quick, guys. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button. Gives me a thumbs up. Take a quick moment. This video is sponsored by Intuned. These are the original OG stickers, not to be made again. So if you guys currently have these stickers, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And don't take it off. Stay in tune, and you'll see what we have in store for you. Now back to the videos. So guys, I misjudged the length and then I also messed up one of the cables. So we are back at our local Home Depot. We gotta buy some more material and uh, we'll get back to the garage here shortly. All right, so we got more cable and now we're gonna head back to the garage, but check this check out. Check that out, oh my God. This is straight JDM <laughs> meets American He's got Magnaflow, Performance Exhaust. See, that's the stuff we live for. If we couldn't do this, that would have been the next big thing. So, comment down below. What do you guys think? Should I buy one of those aluminum wings? Throw it on the Integra? Let me know. It's gotta be double 
All right, guys, so we got the bottom ones done. And, uh, yeah, it's looking really good, except for the fact that if you guys notice it, comment down below what you notice. I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm not going to give it away. But I like how instead of running this right off of here and having a huge cluster of these, um, uh, whatever these tie downs are, cable tie downs, I guess. I don't know. I forget. I remembered it earlier. Like turnbuckles. Turn turnbuckles. Yep. Yeah. So instead of having a cluster of turnbuckles right in that area, I like that. We put one there and then one there and that's looking pretty cool. The picture that Bao sent me actually went from here and it crossed over here and then went down to there with one big X. And um, I wasn't really feeling that, to be honest. But this worked out really good. There's like it, bare, it doesn't even move left and right anymore. So once we get these cables in from here to here, it stopped the front and back action and he'll have a very solid wing. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on those. We are limited at time. It's getting dark. He's got to take off. Got a hot date tonight. Yep. <laughs> so, so we got to finish this up. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get these sides off. We just finished making these here and here. And now everything is tied in. Once he gives it a nice bath, then this is the final product. Smash that subscribe button. You got three seconds to do it. Two, one, get it. Um, but yeah, please share with your friends. Like I said, hopefully I can have something coming up here pretty soon. Uh, once again, I want to thank Bao and Intune for sponsoring this uh, episode. Um, we'll have more to come with that. Yeah, let's hit that 250 subscribers. We'll do that $100 giveaway. So Ooh. please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Get this out there. We're so close. I think we're about maybe 30 subscribers away from doing that $100 giveaway. So until I see you guys in the next one, stay tuned.